Hey guys, Luton here, and we're back. It's the Winner Steam Sale. Now, the Winner Steam Sale has been going on for a little while already, but several of you have been asking me, LT, when's your video coming about the Steam Sale? Because I usually do these videos when there is a Steam Sale on. Now, this time around, I just want to put a bit of a note in to begin with here. Um, I've been doing these Steam Sale videos for a little while, and the thing is, is what I've started to notice as I go along is that I'm often picking similar games from sale to sale. There's a couple of reasons why I want to highlight this. One, most of the time the games that I pick I think are pretty solid choices. Two, a lot of the games on the Steam sale, some of the bigger titles that you might think like, oh, those are worth having a look at or whatever, they're often not discounted very much or I'm not considering the discounts that are given to them like 50% or whatever really good enough to warrant those being in my choices. The other thing is that I often try to pick games that, yeah, I might have suggested before, but I try to pick things that maybe I think my audience haven't potentially looked at, and it might be something that's worth their while considering to maybe try playing something else. So I want to kind of throw things in there that are a little bit maybe out of some people's comfort zones, or maybe something that they've just missed and they never had the opportunity to play. Another thing to keep in mind with some of these titles that I'm highlighting is they often have quite a few DLCs, which are also on sale so very often when i quote the price that's just kind of like the base price for the game and often they do have like many many dlcs attached to them which are all discounted usually at the same price as well so you can get really really good bargain with all that said, I think next time I do a Steam sale video, I'm going to try and focus it on maybe a specific genre or a specific, I don't know, type of game or whatever, different things. If you guys want to suggest next time around what kind of focus I should put on my Steam sale video, please drop that down in the comments below. With that said, let's just crack into it. So my first game choice is Big Pharma, included this one in the autumn sale as well. Big Pharma is a game where you're basically creating pharmaceuticals, you're developing drugs in a lab, and it's about you basically finding the best solutions, managing. It's a management game, it's a process management game. It's really, really fun. As I said before, it's an indie game. Only two guys as that indie dev studio. And I think I've said many times as well, like indie games, they deserve support. You know, if they people are making good games, they need to be supported. So it's worthwhile you checking this one out if you haven't had a look at it before. It's a really fun game. I've got it, I've played a ton, love it. Next up after that, the classic Company of Heroes 2. Been around for ages. This one, like I said, a ton of DLC attached to this. World War II, RTS, it's almost like the definitive. 75% uh, £3.49, or you can buy the complete set, uh, £7.49. Worthwhile mentioning, this is often on Humble though. It's often on Humble for very, very limited price. So meh, you're probably only going to save a very minimal difference if you were to wait for our Humble. So if you haven't got this game already and it's something you want to check out, you want to see some really gritty World War II stuff. When I say gritty, maybe a little bit arcade at the same time, but I think it looks gritty in places. So yeah, good game, definitely worth a look. Okay, next, Dirt Rally. I've said about this game before, 80% off, £7.99. Really, really worthwhile, this game. It's an incredibly punishing, challenging game. I've always really loved rally games, and Dirt Rally was something which just... The way they treated this game was absolutely perfect. Whilst I've enjoyed the other Dirt games, and you probably noticed I don't really cover racing games on this channel, and that's like I've said before, I generally suck at racing games. Uh, whenever I play multiplayer on, on racing games, I always get my ass handed to me. But it doesn't mean that I don't enjoy them. I really enjoy rally games and uh, racing games in general. Uh, but as I say, just versus other people, I suck. But uh, I really, really love the games. And Dirt Rally is one of those games which is just like... It reminds me it reminds me a lot of uh, when I was a kid and I used to play the rally games back then and they were a lot more pure, you know, and as things have gone along they've added in all the kind of rally cross Jim Carna stuff and it just, meh, like it never really felt like how it should be. And Dirt Rally, they just kept it really pure, bare bones, it was just apps it's a brutal game it's like you you know you have to have your concentration right on the edge of your seat and if you screw up even like a minor increment at any point bang you're off the track and that's it you're fucked and it's just like oh my god so it's an it's a terrifying exciting game to play 80 percent off you you can't go wrong if you love racing games it's a really really good one if you haven't tried that kind of thing before if you've only played more kind of arcade style racing games i would say give this a go it's a totally different ball game and i think it's really really something that's enjoyable if you've never played racing games before maybe give it a crack you know just try it and see how you fare because like i say uh it's punishing <laughs> Okay, next, an interesting one, Firewatch. Now, Firewatch is an indie game which came out a little while ago. Um, it's got a really beautiful art style. It's 60% off at £5.99, so six quid. And there's a bit of a caveat with Firewatch, which is that it's quite a short game. Um, it's really only, I can't remember exactly how long, like four or five hours, maybe something like that, three to, three to five hours long. It's not a long game. 
and it's also a narrative game it's an exploration it's some people would even describe as a walking simulator but the art style is really beautiful the narrative is very good and it's one of those games where i, pl I when, I, when it first came out i bought it i played it and i've never played it again since but I would still say it was worthwhile making that purchase, and I would still say that it was worth its money on sale for this, for sure. Um, if you've never played it and you like narrative games, then I would say give that a go, because it's one of those games where, yeah, you won't play it again, probably. The replayability is just, you know, once it's, the whole point is that the... Uh, this, this sort of mystery and the um, anxiety of you playing the game and not knowing what's going to happen. If you're somebody that can get very, very immersed into games, which I can, uh, if you if you really take games seriously and you can really get into it, it is worth that and, and try it out. At the end of the day, if you're not sure, don't go for it. But I think it's worth a look. Okay, next, Ori and the Blind Forest, 50%, £7.49. Now, again, I don't do a lot of it on this channel right here, but I'm a big fan of platform games. I've always really loved platform games ever since I was a kid, and Ori is one of those games which is, it's been around a little while now, uh, Ori is one of those games which is just an absolute fantastic, beautiful, wonderful game to play. The environments are really just fantastically designed, really beautiful, and the gameplay is just classic platformer gameplay. There's not a lot more to say than that. That's the thing with platformer games. They're always relatively straightforward in terms of their gameplay. There isn't much that you can kind of break out of that format it's generally running up walls jumping on things killing enemies dodging evading a lot of sort of hand-to-eye coordination in terms of you know your spatial awareness as you move around but again just the design the narrative the story the music every it just ticks all the boxes and it's a really really good game to go for it's been like widely lauded um so just get that one if you want to try out a platformer okay next up planet coaster absolutely awesome theme park building game okay 75 percent off really huge saving seven pound 49 they've had several dlcs out at this point and they're all pretty damn good actually and i'm very interested in the most recent one which is basically like adventure park think of sort of aztec crystal maze aztec world sort of style things like that you know and um yeah as a theme park building game it's probably your top one to choose out there it's just like the, the best out there um there is just so much creativity that you can put into this game it is unreal uh one of my biggest things whenever i play the game that i talk about that i love with planet coaster is the fact that you can intersect objects i mean it's just a really big deal the way you place and move objects in planet coaster is so easy and fluid and intuitive it's just really really enjoyable to play um you can just kind of build you can just let your imagination run wild you can do almost anything you want to do in the game it's just absolutely fantastic they just added recently a really big update which as a scenario builder that means that you can build parks you can put them onto steam you can create scenarios you've got tons of different customers you can download scenarios from Steam and play them. I mean, it just instead of having just a campaign, you basically now just have like an infinite campaign where you can just try out other people's scenarios. You can make your own. You can put them back on there. You can download people's compositions from on Steam. Like, th there's just so much that you can do with this game. And if you haven't had a look at it already, and you like those kind of building games, those management style games, definitely have a look at Planet Coaster. It's a really, really good game. Okay, next up, Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun. I talked about this one before. Um, basically, it's a kind of top-down stealth ninja assassin style game set in uh, medieval Japan. So you've got basically samurai characters, ninja characters. Think kind of like Tenchu stealth assassin, but kind of top-down. Um, it's a really, really fun game. Awesome. 50%, £17.49. Still quite a price tag, you might think. But this game is just, again, if it's that kind of vibe, if you like that kind of thing, historical style games, and you like kind of japan -y sort of thing, Things, you know this is definitely one that's on the list i got it just on a whim i really wasn't sure if i was going to enjoy it and i love the hell out of this game so i recommend that it's a good game okay next up tomb raider the collection now i've always been a huge fan of tomb raider basically forever i mean it's just a really fun adventure again it's sort of like 3d platformer style game it's exploration puzzle solving it's just got all your kind of classic sort of um platformer environment elements going on there it's just a very very fun enjoyable game now the thing with the collection there's a ton of different games in there all the different tomb raiders now you can buy the entire lot but a lot of that is dlc stuff a lot of it is dlcs that you probably don't really care about skins and other random bits and pieces so what i'd actually say with this tomb raider collection is pick and choose what you want if you haven't tried those games before the classic old games still stand up really well um some of the older uh, tomb raiders like underworld and stuff they're actually they're quite a few years old but they still stand up but 
what you're saving here on the Tomb Raider stuff is about 60 to 85% off of the games. You could be buying the games like Underworld for anything like 75p, uh, right up to uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider for like £6.59, like seven quid. So the price varies a bit between those games, but I would say to get the most out of that Tomb Raider collection, you're probably going to go down the list, just pick out like one or two things that maybe you haven't tried or haven't played before. Um, I would say even like something like Underworld is still worth getting, but up to the most recent ones like the uh, Lara Croft just Tomb Raider or Rise of the Tomb Raider, both of those really solid games as well. Okay, so next, Verdun. Now, Verdun, really, really good. Again, indie game, I talked about this before, very small dev team. This game is 60% off, £7.59. This game is probably what you imagined Battlefield 1 was going to be like. Okay, it's very, very, very brutal, very hard. Uh, still has an active player base, even though it's quite a smaller indie title. Um, you do need some patience because with Verdun, it's a case of you're basically battling over actual trench lines. Again, it's not like Battlefield 1 where you're just kind of running around in classic Battlefield style. In Verdun, they really tried to make it feel absolutely like a kind of World War I um, battle simulation. So it's a very much a case of you are trying to battle across trench lines and basically gain ground. So that means there's usually an attack and then a defense phase. When you're attacking, you've got to jump up and run across no man's land and try and assault enemy trenches, which often involves you getting killed a lot. Um, when you're defending hey then it's your turn to mow them down as they cross no man's land now you might think that sounds miserable but actually it can be very challenging but you just need a little bit of patience to be able to take the kills which are inevitably going to be coming your way Okay, now I've kind of cheated on my last one for the solid picks here. Um, Warhammer 40,000. So I've kind of lumped two games into Warhammer 40k, so I'm kind of cheating. Uh, but basically, Warhammer 40k, Space Marine, 75% off, 5 quid. Now, Space Marine is a fantastic game made by Relic a little while back, but unlike their Dawn of War series, this was like a third-person game. And pretty much everyone I know that owns this game says that it stands up really, really well even now. I think one small caveat I would throw in is that I think you will enjoy it a lot more if you do enjoy kind of Warhammer 40k stuff I think if it's if you're just looking at it it's like a third person run around shooter it's very linear and it's very meh, repetitive in terms of the gameplay however if you just love 40k stuff like me and you kind of almost have a fetish for it then you kind of you just don't give a damn about that and you're just like oh my god it's amazing so if you love just Warhammer 40k stuff then uh, get Space Marine if you don't own it already it has been around for quite some time I'd be shocked if people didn't own it if they love that kind of thing already but just highlighting it because it is a big saving on that game. Now secondly I will also lump in Space Hulk. Now not the more recent offering but the older version of Space Hulk. The whole series is discounted at 75%. You can make some really really big savings within there. This Space Hulk was much more of a kind of top down replication of the actual old tabletop game. In fact it very much basically was the tabletop game put into a video game. Now for some people they dislike that because some people say well you know what's the point you've basically just taken the tabletop game and put it into a video game. I would say the point is cool graphics and it's quite fun to play. Um, this Space Hulk it's more like a, a puzzle rather than actually a combat thing in many ways um, because what you're trying to do is you're trying to control corridors to reach an objective and then basically get out. Uh, I played it on the live stream quite a while back where I did the entire series and it was just a regular thing that I did. I had a huge amount of fun with this game so again if it's the kind of thing that maybe interests you just take a look at it see if it's something that you might like maybe look up some videos about it and see what you think. Um, one small thing with this game because it's basically the mechanics are essentially based off of percentage chances in terms of like you're really kind of dice rolling to see whether or not um, your guy hits an enemy it can sometimes be a little insane in this game because your guy will be standing facing down a corridor and you have a gene steal like an alien like coming straight for him and it's just like yeah misses like 10 times in a row which is mental and it just it's it really like damages your immersion sometimes because you're just like what but if you can just suspend your disbelief and have a little laugh at the fact that sometimes some crazy things happen like that, it's still a really fun game. For the price, I would recommend it. I think if you haven't played it before, you can actually get some good playtime out of it. Okay, so now I'm coming to my 10 must-haves. Now, most of these are a lot cheaper than my other options because these are games that have often been around for quite some time, but I really feel like if you haven't got these games, they are definitely worth a look because I think they're a lot of fun and you can get a lot out of them. My first choice is Broken Sword 2. I actually think this is the best 
Broken Sword of the entire series. Um, I recently tried the Broken Sword 5, I hated it, I thought it was terrible, but Broken Sword 1 is good, Broken Sword 2 I really liked. The rest of it, meh, you can kind of leave it alone. It really doesn't matter, it's not like some big ongoing story that you really, really have to follow. So Broken Sword 2, you can play it just as a standalone, you'll get the gist of it. This game, 75% off, it's £1.24. You really can't go wrong, it's an old uh, point-and-click style puzzle game with a bit of narrative in there. I just think it's a lot of fun, I really like the environments and the characters, it's good stuff, I would check it out. Second choice, Civ 5. Classic, been around forever, absolutely solid, you should have it, it's just an immense amount of fun, you will get so much playtime out of it. 75% off, 5 quid, there's no more needs to be said, world domination, great fun, check it out, get it. Okay, next choice, Final Fantasy 7, 50% off, £5. Side note, Final Fantasy 8, also. Now, why do I include this? Because I often don't see Final Fantasy 7 actually discounted on the Steam store. Um, now, to be fair, it's only 10 quid anyway, full price, but this is the definitive RPG definitive sort of Final Fantasy game for me. Uh, a lot of argument about which is the best Final Fantasy always. Some people say 6, some people say 7, 8, 9, some people say 10 even. Um, not 10x2 though. <laughs> uh, I'm sure some people love the new ones as well. But for me, yeah, this is one of, if not, no, this is the best Final Fantasy for me. It's You've really got to immerse yourself in the story of this game. I love everything about it. I love the graphics, even though they're dated. Um, I love the mechanics of the game. I love the narrative of the game. It's an incredibly enjoyable game. You'll get a lot out of it. Um, do take a look at the graphics. I do know that the, de the graphics of Final Fantasy VII are dated. And for some people, if you are not able to kind of get into the mindset of like 90s gaming, then that could be actually something which is a turn off for you. But if you can, this is an absolutely classic, fantastic game, and I totally recommend it. Okay, next up, FTL, 75% off, £1.74, it's in there every time. FTL, really fun game, uh, manage a space crew, go on a little voyage, see what kind of crazy madness befalls you. Uh, I've had this game since it came out, it's extremely fun, it's very, very challenging, it's brutal. If you can make it to the end and win, a couple of times you're doing really well. Uh, there's quite a lot to unlock in this game. There's a huge amount of replayability with this game. That's why it's so good. You cannot go wrong for the price. As I say, every single time, it's so cheap, it's so good. You should just own it. Okay, another platformer, Oddworld, new and tasty, 75% off, £3.74. Uh, Abe's Odyssey, Oddworld, this is another great game from the 90s when I grew up, and this is a very brutal, it's a quite dark as well, narrative, very dark environment, quite um, quite sort of unsettling sometimes, but it's got a lot of humour in there as well with it, so it, it really is like a 90s game. Um, but yeah, it's been revised, remastered, so Oddworld, it's a really, really fun game, the characters are absolutely brilliant, the narrative is fun, the world is quirky and weird. It's a very unique game. I can't think of anything which really kind of replicates this style of environment and character. So yeah, it's got a lot going on with it. It's really a mix between some kind of like dark platformer and maybe lemmings because you basically have to like round up your fellow modicans and like get them out of there. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a, you have to kind of collect guys. There's lots of little sub puzzles. There's a lot of hidden stuff in this game as well. If you're one of these people that loves to be really completionist about your games, this one will drive you mad because there's loads of secrets and things which you'll miss and then have to replay to come back and do. But it's really good. I actually think a lot of replay value here. It's also very challenging it's quite a difficult game to play. Okay, I always throw this in there, Pixel Junk Shooter Ultimate, 80%. £1.39. Pixel Junk Shooter. Pixel Junk make a lot of curious kind of indie game stuff and they've made some very very different games of late. They made like Eden, they made Monsters, they've made um, Nom Nom Galaxy. Pixel Junk Shooter you play as a little spacecraft and you basically have to hover through different environments solving puzzles and interacting with the environment. You can mix together like fire and water to make earth, you can mix like um, different chemicals to make different gases which then set on fire. It's a really really fun chilled game game. It's one of my most favourite games to go to when I want to just chill out, switch off and just play through. It is incredibly enjoyable, I love the music, I love the art style, I love everything about this game. It's cheap as chips, £1.39. If you haven't checked it out before, I do recommend this game. I think it's very, very good fun and I hope you would not be disappointed. Portal 1 and 2, 90% off, 2 quid. If you never own these games, and I'm probably thinking of people that maybe have only just got into PC gaming, you need to own these games. That's basically all you need to say. Uh, they're puzzle solving games. They are just absolute classics. You must own Portal. 
Prison Architect is in there as well, 75% off, five quid. Just an incredibly fun game. Great design, great humor, great um, mechanics and art style, everything in there. It's a fantastic thing. Build and manage a prison. You can make it as difficult as you want to make it. You can make it as, well, not as big as you want to make it, but you can make a very, very big prison. You can have riots. You can have everything in there. It's just a great fun game. Again, a lot of hours you can get out of this game. You can get a ton of playtime, a massive amount of replayability. It's absolutely worth its money. Giant discount on next game, This War of Mine, 80%, £3. Uh, this War of Mine, again, a different take on war games. You're basically playing as civilian survivors in a war-torn city which has been racked by warfare. City is basically destroyed, you're trying to eke out a living. You play like day-to-day, -day, trying to get food, water, survive, protect yourself from raiders. It's basically like a, a side view, like a cutaway side view through buildings, so it's 2D essentially, but with 3D elements. Um, you can send some of your guys out tonight to raid, collect supplies, come back the next day. They've added some DLCs in as well. It's just a very, very well put together game. It's incredibly atmospheric. It's very, very immersive. If you haven't checked it out before, again, it's only £3. It's very, very well worth a look. Again, I really feel like you should own this game. And my last choice, Chirok 2, 50%, £7.49. Now, this is a game from the 90s again. It's an N64 game, actually, which was remastered quite recently. So even on Steam, where it says it was released 1998, it's kind of misleading because it, it was remastered quite recently. Um, I played this and I was well impressed. Like, it's a really, really good remaster. The only thing you'll notice with these kind of classic games is less is more in these older games there is a lot more space but what i did find is there's actually not that many levels per se like across the entire game but what you do find is that each level is quite long like i, I when we played it through on the stream a little bit um it was like the first level took me like an hour and a bit or something it's like the, the levels are quite big even if you sort of rush at it a bit um and yeah they're really engaging really fun there's a lot of fun to be had with this game as i say it is a 90s game so you know enemies are a little bit more sparse than you might expect the scenery and the environment is quite minimal but i think that the remaster of this game was very very good and it was definitely a, a fun experience that i had and i think a lot of the stream actually got quite hyped up for it when i was playing because you know it, yeah it was an older game for sure but i think some people were just like seeing the enjoyment I was getting out of it and really feeling like that there's something about some of these older games sometimes where the kind of dynamic of the actual game design works really well. I think sadly that's sometimes something which gets lost a lot in a mod lot of modern games, that actual uh, dynamic play that you get, the real vibe, the real feel of the excitement and the fun of actually battling through stuff, that can sometimes get lost with either too many enemies, too much gloss and glitter in the actual graphics and they forget too much about the mechanics and actually making the actual playability of the game incredibly fun. So I would say check this game out if you want to check out a, like a 90s shooting game from the N64. You're battling dinosaurs, you can blow them in half with explosive shotgun shells. It's good fun. It also has one of my favorite weapons of all time, the Cerebral Boar, which was just your average alien weapon that fires basically a little sort of dart at somebody's head which has a drill attached to it and it'll drill into their head until their head explodes just a classic 90s weapon design right guys that is my steam picks for the uh, winter steam sale 2017 i uh, hope you enjoyed this hope you'll make some of the selections if you do come back tell me what you think about the games if you enjoyed this video guys drop a like as always it really helps me out and as i say if you have a theme or a focus you'd like me to put onto the next steam sale drop that down below as well and i'll do my best to see if i can uh, select that if i think it's going to work thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time and happy purchasing